Today on the channel, Jax Classic Superstars LJN Edition Series 22, Eddie Guerrero. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Ruthless Aggression Style, but something a little bit different, classic Superstars Ruthless Aggression Style, with an LJN inspired unboxing and review, as today we're going deep into my closet, you guys know I have tons of figures that I haven't gotten around to unboxing, and right now we're in kind of the doldrums, uh, the summertime slow period before the fall Christmas season when all new toys start coming out. The summertime, it's the time to t give your wallet a break, play catch up, do stuff like that. And I thought today would be a perfect time to open up this Eddie Guerrero LJN inspired figure. I have a complete loose collection and of course min on card collection of these. I thought I was complete and then about six months ago I went through, I was like, I'm missing one. I can't figure it out. Well, I was missing Eddie Guerrero. So I got this beat up boxed Eddie Guerrero at a very cheap price off of Mercari. And I said, you know what, one of these days I'll unbox this one and see how it goes. And no better time to be unboxing this as we are on the heels of Unmatched Series 1 from AEW Jazzwares, where the LJN style figures make a return. Uh, I haven't had one in hand yet, I haven't seen one in person, but from the pictures, it looks like they'll be a little bit bigger than these. That was one of the knocks on these Jax Classic Superstars uh, inspired LJN figures is they were smaller and not quite the same. It kind of had that feel, but these are more akin to really the WCW San Francisco Toy Maker figures of the 90s, if you guys remember those. Uh, we've done a lot of discussion on the LJN inspired figures. We even did a whole video where we walked through every single one on the channel. So search the classic superstars videos. Uh, we did the Jax LJN deep dive on these. And then as we went through every single solo card series, we talked about every single one of these as well. So there's been a lot of these on the channel, a lot of discussion that we won't to rehash a ton of it uh, as i said go into the playlist on the youtube channel search uh, whatever series you're looking for on uh, youtube and search my name with it and you'll find all kinds of ljn inspired talk but it's firing back up like i said with the aw jazz wears we're going to get a lot more ljn inspired figures uh, for the foreseeable future so it'll be really interesting how those go i can't wait to get my first one which is going to be cody and we're going to compare that to some of the other figures out there so it'll be really interesting to see the comparisons between um the old the new and the in between is what these would be but we're going to do it like we normally do it. we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it. we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we'll see where it goes from there so here it is jack's class superstars inspired packaging we know all about it we love it uh this is interesting though the ljn inspired how it's got the blue Always kind of threw me off, but you could always spot these a mile away on the pegs uh, if you were out there searching during this time frame. Series 22, it says up here in the blue band, uh, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero, this is another one of those ones at the time didn't feel like he really deserved an LJN figure or deserved a classic superstars figure. Uh, but then, you know, the, the beauty of time passing, he's totally a classic superstar. And I believe I remember the Jax classic superstars LJN inspired figures. The reasoning for those to be in the classic line was it was current day superstars that should have had an LJN figure is basically what they were trying to justify. Hey, these are current guys, but we're going to throw them in the classic line with a classic inspired LJN look. Uh, it didn't really go over very well. I remember a lot of disappointed collectors, myself included, who grew up with the LJNs and has a love for the LJN. This just wasn't what I wanted out of uh, the Class Superstars series. I felt like this was taking a spot away from a more deserving figure, something I'd rather have. I feel like if Jax really wanted to do this, they could have just made a subline of all these. Uh, as a one-off type line, I think that would have been the best. I think it would have been received a whole lot better. Uh, but that's my opinion, but you can give me yours in the comments. Uh, Eddie Guerrero on the side got his name. You got that LJ inspired uh, superstars there. And then Eddie's picture of the figure down below. And then the back, we're promoting Series 22. We got the other guys in the line. We got a blurb up top, the Class Superstars logo, Glamour Shot, warnings all down at the bottom. Let's see what it says about old Eddie Guerrero. 220 pounds, height 5 foot 8, finishing move, the frog splash, and the old lasso from El Paso. Titles, WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, WWE Tag Team Champion. Collect them all. Uh, we had Andy Kaufman in this series, a great figure. Chainsaw Charlie, one of the all-time greats, Terry Funk. We had Matt Hardy, no Jeff in this one. Mr. McMahon, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Earthquake, and old Bob Sparkplug Holly. Uh, I would love an elite Bob Holly from the Attitude Era. I'd love elite Bob Holly race car driver. 
Get us a Bob Holly Elite. We could really use one of him. I would take all the Andy Kaufman figures you could ever make, and especially uh, Terry Funk, Chainsaw Charlie, get me a Mattel Elite of him ASAP. So there it is. We're going to open this one up. Like I said, this packaging is absolutely atrocious. This thing is screaming to be opened. It'll be very interesting once we open this one up. As you guys know, I talk about it on the channel all the time. The old Jack Sticky Disease. The Jack Sticky Disease even crossed over into the Power of the Force collection in Star Wars. So, uh, sticky figures. Uh, and these, unfortunately, these LJN inspired ones are one of the worst as far as Jack's Sticky Disease. So, we'll see where this Eddie ranks in terms of stickiness. We'll see. Will it be somewhere between a Starburst and a Sucked on Jolly Rancher? Will it be somewhere in between there? We'll see what happens. Pull them out of the package. Oh, we're breaking stuff. There it is. See you later up high. Uh-oh, we're, we're buckled in with him. I guess I can twist tie it. I don't need to cut it. He's got a twist tie. Now, these LJM figures are much heavier than a traditional Ruthless Aggression style figure. Uh, maybe you're aware. Maybe you were not aware of that. Pull it out here. See you later. Oh, and we're sticky. Oh, yeah, we got that stickiness going on. Ugh, ugh. I, I'm not a big fan of it, but I do it for the channel. I do it for the channel. Uh, the skin is the sticky part. The pants, not terrible. A little stickiness on the boot, but the skin is like the Jolly Rancher that your three-year-old was sucking on that they shouldn't be because they're probably too young for a Jolly Rancher. But they were sucking on it, and then Mom yelled around and looked in the back seat and said, Hey, spit that out. You're too young to have a Jolly Rancher. You're going to choke on it. So the kid instinctively spits it out in the car seat. It gets down in the cracks, and then uh, you don't know it because you, you're driving. And then you go into the mall for a couple hours. You get lunch at Cheesecake Factory. Uh, you go around. You work the mall circuit. Then you come back out. You had the windows up. Your car is black. It's 100 degree out and you had all the windows up so it's like 2,000 degrees in the car and that Jolly Rancher is just the stickiest thing of all time that's the level this Eddie Guerrero is at currently unfortunately very disappointing but not to say I didn't expect that to happen uh, but I did come prepared I grabbed my tape the old packing tape that's the key to get rid of this sticky disease you go like this open it up so we're gonna do a we've done this on the channel before but you know it can never bear repeating so you wrap your figures up in this stickiness tape, in the packing tape. And uh, you get it all wrapped up there, and then you just remove it. And then when you remove it, you can see this comes out all foggy. That is counteracting the stickiness. I am not Mr. Wizard, but I play him on YouTube sometimes. Uh, but that is the best way I've found. I know some people like to clean them in hot water and, and all that. You can't do that. Uh, and that gets a little bit off, but it's still sticky. This is what I've seen as the best way to get rid of the sticky disease. The only problem is, I think it's just the plastic degrading over time. Uh, and that's unfortunate as I don't know. What's going to happen 100 years from now? Is this just going to disintegrate? Is this going to start like melting? That's the only thing I can think of. Get a little more tape here. But yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate. We hate the Jack Sticky Disease. Um, we've seen it on a few other lines. I talked about the power of the force. But yeah, you can see, I think... It almost looks like fingerprints and stuff, but it's just counteracting the stickiness. It's very weird. I can't even remember how I came across this. Um, I think it was something about something else sticky. And I said, maybe it'll work for this. And I tried it, and away we went. And uh, the rest really is history at this point. So, uh, But yeah, he's coming up. Already feels way less sticky. It's, it's really working here. But like I said, the problem is, you know, six months from now, that stickiness possibly can come back. Uh, especially on these style of figures. So I know a lot of people don't like these. Uh, these are probably all in all better left kept on card. Then you don't ever have to deal with that. But you know me, I, I needed this one in my loose setup to be complete. So I'm pretty good shape right now. I got maybe one more run through there and I'll be all right. But that's what you got to do with this Jack Stinky Disease. That's how you counteract that bad boy. So there it is. All in all, though, as far as these uh, LJN inspired ones, this Eddie Guerrero is even better in hand than in package. I I've never held this before until now. Uh, it got his tattoo. It's got his kind of Bret Hart hands going on here. Love the flame tights. I mean, this is Eddie Guerrero 101 right here. A very good head sculpt. You look at this, you know this is Eddie Guerrero when you see this. Uh, I've had some... Um, uh, bad feelings about a few of these out there, specifically the Hardy Boys and Trish Stratus. They look like an anime cartoon character. They don't really look like the wrestler. It look like they're even trying to uh, make it look like the wrestler. It looks like an anime cartoon made into an LJN rubber figure. That's what those remind me of. But this Eddie, spot on. Looks amazing. I like this one a lot. Uh, off the top of my head, the Flare one is probably my favorite, but this Eddie's got to be top five. 
And it, maybe that's be a good top five list on the channel. As you guys know, every Thursday we're doing a different top five. Maybe I'll do my top five favorite LJN-inspired classic superstars. Maybe two, three years from now when we get really deep and we're really searching for a top five list. Uh, maybe we'll do that. But eh, could be, could be. We'll do a top five Eddie Guerrero one of these days as well. So be prepared for that. Uh, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Hit your notification bell, of course. But... There's Eddie Guerrero, LJ and Inspire, Classic Superstar Series 22 figure. What about you guys? Did you have this one? Do you like this one? Do you know about this one? Is it all new to you? Are you constantly battling the Jack Sticky disease? Well, hopefully I helped you out a little bit with uh, my tape trick. Like I said, it really does work. So give it a try if you're having some sticky figure problems of any line, not just Jack's. Uh, it's what I do. But make sure you uh, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. And uh, for Eddie Guerrero and the Classic Superstars team, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.